Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Plague Tale Innocence. He's gone, Hugo. He's resting now. I can't take any more of these bloody rats! Bastards! But they're going to get us too. Really? How? Like this. How do you... Hugo? Tell me you're going to help us kill those bastards. That's many. We've got no chance without your brother, Amicia. You get that, right? I will help you. And you're going to help us save Mummy. You've got yourself a deal. There was a little bit of anticipation on uh, that line delivery from Melly, which I think might have been an audio hiccup. That's quite odd. Oh, we're about to bring the mood way back down to Earth as I remind you all that we are down two party members uh, from just the recent past. We lost Arthur, Melee's brother, to Nicholas back at the castle. And just now, uh, right before the episode started, at the end of the last episode, we lost Roderick to a bunch of archers. This game soundtrack is one that I'm really going to have to look up. It's been strong the whole way through, and I've been effusive about praising it pretty much the entire LP. It's so good. Uh, I don't think it particularly matters if we get their attention since we're fighting our way through all of them anyway. It does take stealth off of the table, but I mean, the thousands and thousands of rats take stealth up off the table by themselves pretty well. Uh, we're just going to maintain cover back here so the archers can't fire at us, I think. Oh, but we still have Javelin Man. That was my silly mistake. So I think we do essentially the same thing. Well, fuck. That did not auto lock on when I lobbed it to the lantern. Doesn't matter. Now we have these two. Oh, they're split up even, so this will be a little bit easier to manage. That one's getting devoured as he comes at us. The one with the javelin who killed us last time is no big deal. And then we just have uh, the archers plinging away. I don't even know if we can get them up there, but if not, I can always stone them. Oh shit, it caught on the corner. Aw. So let's see. Because there's no light, they should be able to get up there. I don't know if this is the efficient way to do this, though. They sort of rat NATO'd up onto, looks like gallows. Look at this Dark Souls 3 building. So now we're going to get a bunch of French Inquisition guards charging at us down the stairs. There's fire up there. No braziers down here, though. And now we have rats who will repel the ones coming at us. Oh, we still have archers. Shit! I think I'm supposed to deal with the archers in this situation myself, since there are lit flames at the top of the stairs. Go, in there. So the melee ones will come down to me, and they'll wade into the rats and die like buffoons. Uh, the other ones I need to deal okay. with with my Stay. sling, though. I mean, I get being ready and willing to die for a cause, but they're just running in 
to die needlessly. And then they're just gonna be oh shit, we've made a mistake, those two. Those two immediately recognized that they did not make a good move. Oh, and now we have these two annoying enemies. Remember, these are the ones based on that Nicholas boss fight. Uh, these are the ones who use friction by dragging their weapons on the ground uh, to ignite them and drive the rats away. But since they're waiting in, as soon as the plane goes out, we don't even have to direct the rats to them. The rats will just naturally swarm. Right, let's go inside. Some family. Melly. Help me. No one else must get in. This will get you nowhere! You don't want to understand, Beatrice. Mommy! My child. Hugo! Amicia! Mother! Did Vitalis do this? He sacrificed them. He's past the threshold! Go get out of here! Oh, for pity's sake. Hugo, are you ready? Yes. The rats are here. Then let's go. Stay close to me. We're coming too. Oh yeah! This is your last chance! Hugo, your power! You have to be careful! I'm fine, don't worry! Yes, he's a very gifted student. Too bad he's forgotten who taught him everything he knows. Shut up, you old fool! We're here to kill you, not listen to your speeches! And yet, look at you. Walking towards me like lost sheep to their shepherd. That's enough, Vitalis! You're alone! Give us back our mother or... Oh, what exactly? I still have things to teach the carrier and his friends. <laughs> You're so touching. Thank you. Thank you for your candor. You hear them? The angel. The angel of the new world. Get back! The light, see? I saw it. Come on. Lucas, Melly, stay there. No, I can help you. I can. It's our blood, Melly. All right. Destroy him. Yeah, we're getting my Assassin's Creed 2 Pope fight wish. We have dueling rat tsunamis. This game is so anime. Oh, I pushed up way too far. So the idea there is Vitalis has his own rat tornado powers. So dumb. Uh, he has his own rat tornado powers. He can make them do the NATO. <laughs> so we have to get Hugo to counter his rat NATOs with his own. Just watch them smash into each other. Yeah. Ah, shit, man. It's very good. And we're uh, leapfrogging our way up, just inching forward, extingu extinguishing the flames that the white rats don't seem to have to respect. This is before we even get to Vitalis. 
and his anime shit that he's about to pull again. M one more. Oh, that reached good. Now we just have to keep Hugo's rat powers on and move up. Hugo, Amicia, he must not abuse his power. We're going to get you out of there. We'll take care of it. Hugo, you feel it too, don't you? But it scares you. The true power! The gift of self! I am unity! I am the blood of blood that connects all people! Cool. Stay with you guys! Become one again! So it's not quite a rat mecha. But man, it's so close. I don't think I can get around this way. I think I kind of trapped myself in to a little corner, uh, which is fine. Oh my god, it's... It's incredible. Come on. It's like chaos in Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Except with rats instead of goo. So he's gonna go up and crash down on us again, leaving a little wake of rats. Now that he's sufficiently tuckered out, the little dude, uh, we can we can have Hugo Ratnado him, so we can nail him in the face with a rock. You really just have to stop and enjoy the little things in life. Like when life gives you this. So good. That looks really good, too. I'm uh, now a new attack, where he will have them move underground and then burrow up beneath us. Same idea, kind of a, an area of effect attack. And we also have the fire to put out now. So once he is tired out, like so, Hugo's rats can actually get to it. And if you have played a video game before, what is your best guess about how many times we're going to have to repeat this process? Did you guess three hits? With his pattern slightly changing each time? Holy shit, you did it. I'm proud of you. You're very good at this. Good job. All of you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell, and do all the other shit. That would make you uh, even better in my eyes. My love is conditional. <laughs> Oh, and we should have one more of these tentacles and a brazier to extinguish before we can land that final hit.
course, we're not quite done yet. After the... Well, I guess in the middle of the credits, actually, we have Chapter 17, which is actually just an epilogue. A little bit of a strange placement. But let's see what happens when we pick up three days after Vitalis' defeat. All right, let's go. Have we got everything? Yes, that's all Lucas asked for. Is Mommy going to get better with this? She will be alright, Hugo. Mummy is tough, isn't she? Just like you. That's right. I can't wait for us to find a new castle. Well, <laughs> you've got the taste of a king now. We'll see what we can do. We have to leave the region first. So, were you able to go home? Yes. The nest is still there, but it's empty. <sighs> I can't oh, Misia, look! Good. Let's you hope try your are. hand at shooting. Not me. My sister's really good. Right, Amicia? All right, let's have a go. Good, good. The rule is simple. You have six stones, six possible shots. Try and shoot as many targets as possible. Are you ready? This gives us kind ready? of a callback to the beginning of the game. When Amicia is uh, using your sling to knock the rotten apples off the tree. And speaking of apples as a recurring motif. Hey, you know how to do it. You want an apple. And all due respect. <laughs> the apple's for you, Hugo. Yes! You're my biggest supporter. Oh, thanks. I was hungry. Ah! As always. Hey, today we're celebrating the third day without rats. Guy in this apple! On the street. Go take a look. A fair? A real That's fair? so good! I've never seen a fair before. Hugo, Lucas is waiting for us. We should be getting back. But it's a fair. Come on. Hugo. <laughs> right. But we can't stay long. Hey, look. Oh, that's the young boy. Oh, no. No, no, boy. You just can't come in. But why? Because you can. That's why. Hey, is there a problem? Look, the problem is a kid and his sister are wanted around here by important people. But we... We just don't want any trouble here, you understand? I can see very well. Hugo, we have to go. What the fuck? Poor Hugo. Hey, Hugo. What? The first one to arrive at the cart wins 20 apples. 20 apples? But you'll never beat me. Right, Slug? What? You see. Oh, yeah? Then on three. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> this boy wants 20 apples. We did promise him a bushel. You. You can't beat me. I don't know how many that is. But this, mo this boy is moving. All right. Like 20 All right. apples depends on it. You won. We made it, Lucas. Do you have everything? St. John's what? The Hawthorne? All of it. Let's go. Good. Amicia? Yes? Why are they looking at me like that? Melly looked at me the same way. Then she left. Because she doesn't like me anymore. Hugo, she... She had other things to do. That's not true. But it doesn't matter. Run! <laughs> Is she going to sleep much longer? She has to get her strength back. With the herbs you bought, she'll soon be back on her feet. All right. Hey, Hugo. What? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> You're ugly. Really ugly. <laughs> <gasps> ugly? Me? You look like a big fat fly. <gasps> a fly? Your own sister? Oh, such a slur requires punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly she doesn't work at Twitch.
Now, it's done. I am really, really satisfied with how this turned out. Uh, I think, at worst, you can accuse it of having spun too many plates. But I really respect the ambition of it. Um, I also really respect the mood, the story it tried to tell, the themes that it went for, and how evocative the setting was. Like, how grisly and raw everything surrounding the siblings was. But without it being just edgy, it's purposeful. Because there's contrast, right? It's like the world is testing them, and they respond by deepening their bond with each other. Amici and Hugo. Uh, they respond to trauma and the hardships of this harsh, harsh world by drawing strength from each other. And they do a really good job of showing both of them, especially Hugo in the latter half of the game, as as capable. They rely on each other physically and emotionally, and that's really illustrative of how they they uh, how they grow together. I think it's also really clever in retrospect to have that estrangement between Amicia and Hugo in the beginning. And to have them grow together over time rather than it just being the default because it puts Amicia in the player's shoes and vice versa of not really having known Hugo that well. Like she grew up with him but didn't really get to interact with him or be around him all that much. So she has to learn over time who he is and how to relate to it. And there's friction occasionally, too. Like, there's some very real bickering. Some sibling bickering. But not so much that it's overpowering. There's, there's just a lot of subtlety that's really well handled. And it's kind of making me giggle to talk subtlety after... French Rat Pope fight... <laughs> But it's such a good game. It gets really silly in the best way. Um, I'm very happy with this. So once again, I hope you enjoyed uh, this journey through Plague Tale Innocence. And next up, what do we have? Oh, I know what's coming up next. Because it's going to be Platinum Games' newest character action game, Astral Chain. We'll get around to that next time. We're going to let the credits uh, finish playing out. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.